yesterday we started the expansion of beam in the morning, early hours, and uh, everything was proceeding as nominal um, during that expansion. The first uh, steps in that expansion process were um, the closing of the ascent valve. These are the valves that allowed um, the ex interior beam to be exposed to the vacuum of space during ascent, during launch. Those valves um, were the first thing to be closed. The second step was the cutting of the restraint straps, the three straps that you see around the outside of beam, holding it in its uh, launch configuration. And the last step was the releasing of a bolt, uh, a bolt that connected the forward and aft bulkheads um, and allowed them to then be able to be expanded. Um, all three of those events occurred nominally and as expected, and we've been able to positively confirm that all three events occurred, and um, none of that, um, has, uh, no, no doubts of those uh, events occurring. Um, and then we started into the, the fourth step of the process, which was the manual inflation uh, um, valves being opened for a period of time. We went through a sequence, stepping up the pressure um, through a series of opening and closing of that valve, um, and, and our crew member, Jeff Williams, was doing that. We were closely watching the pressure um, rise uh, over that period of time. And what we were looking for is a pressure to volume ratio. So we, as, as we watch the pressure go up, we expect the volume to increase. And at the beginning of that, uh, that's exactly what we saw. Is as pressure went up, we saw volume increase, and in fact, pressure would drop. And we would expect that over, uh, over the entire expansion, um, seeing that effect. We ran into uh, higher forces than we believe uh, our models predicted. Um, and what we were seeing is we were approaching pressures that um, weren't part of our modeling effects that we saw. Um, so at that point in time, we decided to stand down the pressurization operation, leave beam at its uh, pressurization that was at at that point in time, and let it sit overnight uh, while we went back to our models and refined that data. When actually we came in this morning and met as an engineering team again, we did see further expansion of beam over the evening hours, both in the axial and radial directions. We did see small movements in both directions, uh, which is a very positive sign uh, as well. As we're going through the engineering data today, um, we made the choice to go ahead and go through a decompression or depressurization process. Uh, what we're expecting to see out of that is a relaxation of the structure inside a beam, the fabric structures, and then um, that will allow us to then pick back up, uh, hopefully uh, actually planned as early as tomorrow morning, uh, to walk back through the pressurization sequence again. Uh, we believe this depressurization to pressurization cycle uh, will allow us some relaxation in, in those forces um, and the fabric to shift around and, and be able to step back into that uh, sequence uh, first thing tomorrow.